Uh, thank you very much. I, I feel somewhat embarrassed that I'm going to read this, but as it's uh, a, a story that I could go on for hours, to get it down to five minutes has meant that I've scripted it. So I apologize if I haven't got eye contact with you. I can't see you through these anyway. Okay, let's go. Right, um, for centuries, Bristolians have built timber-framed houses and shops. Uh, many from the 16th, 17th century lasted well into the 20th, but sadly, as a result of the Blitz and uh, planners, many of them were lost. However, over 20% of our building stock is pre-1919. Just perhaps bear that in mind. A walk around the old city is a showcase for the history of English architecture. King Street, uh, our building uh, for the timber house is the one on the left. Um, uh, a walk around will show you the, um, the, the first street that was built after the Civil War. Many buildings have been refaced, reflecting various changes of fashion from Jacobean, Queen Anne, right the way through to Victorian and the 20th century. Timber frame buildings have shown that they are durable and versatile. Uh, European timbers like oak and larch have been grown as crops to serve the industry. Sustainable and renewable, yes, trees do, sorry, timber does actually grow on trees. The scale and proportion of timber frame buildings in a city where people like to promenade um, is, uh, is, is very important. They're big enough to have lots of potential uses, small enough to have character and individualism, reflecting our lives with music, stories, and character. And they grow old in interesting ways too. The Carpenters Fellowship formed 14 years ago. Here are some of uh, our members. Bringing together 20, 250 or so of our 420 members, we meet each year and come up with ideas about sharing uh, good practice. We've developed a training forum where we have apprentices in post and beam construction working towards NVQs at levels two and three and we're currently working on the degree. Uh, we have a specialist apprenticeship program in conjunction with uh, the construction industry and the National Heritage Training Group. We have apprentices operating in uh, roofing techniques, lead work, lime plaster, renders, stone wood carving, and many other traditional um, paints and uh, carpentry. Um, last year, our apprentices, 18 of them uh, in, in total this year, but 10 of them last year, had the, the great pleasure of working on uh, a small project for the Pennybron Cancer Care Center at Ham Green. Um, we took local trees, we milled them, we graded the timber, we fashioned the joints, uh, put it up, and um, stood proud. And here it is in its finished form. Um, when asked by Radio Bristol and the Evening Post, well, what's the next project, we proudly announced uh, we're going to rebuild the Dutch house, St. Peter's Hospital house, and put a roof on the St. Peter's Church. <clears throat> now, okay, how are we going to do that? St. Peter's Church, sadly um, uh, lacking its roof, we've suggested putting a roof on here, um, would make it into a public meeting place, and an exhibition space, lunchtime and early evening talks, events, concerts, instead of it just being a fenced off ruin. Many European cities have used their skilled labor force to replicate buildings, even whole streets. We now recognize that we might have missed out on something. So entering the old city of Bristol from Bristol Bridge, we can see the ruin of St. Mary Laporte rising above the concrete boxes of the Norwich Union, the Bank of England, and Lloyd's TSB. St. Peter's House, uh, was once described as the finest building in England back in 1665. Um, it's been a house, the Mint, a hospital, and the workhouse, and it survived right the way through until the Blitz. If it had survived longer, it would be one of our grade one or grade two listed buildings. This uh, is a view, uh, a side view of Mary Laporte Church, lining up with the high street and the entrance to St. Nick's Market, currently overgrown and a mess uh, of empty cans and dog ends, but this could be transformed into something rather like Malacca Street in, in Gdansk, extending the buzz of St. Nick's across the road. So we have the materials, we have the skills, we have the people ready to build them, we have the trainers and the assessors, and we have the qualifications to be learned and earned. Walking up from Bristol Bridge, we have a view of a derelict concrete building, whereas we could have something like Lübeck High Street in North Germany. Consider the pride in being part of a team building, for example, the Matthew. This is Lübeck High Street. Uh, I got ahead of myself. Um, consider yourself <laughs> part of a team building the Matthew, the Globe Theatre, or the Dutch House. Okay. 
the iconic building that stood at the crossroads of the medieval city, High Street, Broad Street, uh, Wine Street and Corn Street, still remembered with affection by many older Bristolians. Consider what it would be like to be part of a great British project, a Gert Biggin of a Bristol project, a project for Bristolians to be really proud of. Let's Bristol fashion some new timber frames. Thank you.